have a one hour uh, meeting so we want to we plan to complete all these components within one hour we talk about different ethnical cultural and gender identities existing together within national uh, governments together with the accelerated globalization we started to address these topics more and more in our agenda Due to its logic, the national government creates a unitary identity or negotiate the uh, uh, other identities through a unitary identity. But this homogen homogenizing and unitary uh, mindset uh, has been insufficient in terms of differentiated, increasingly differentiated societies. And now these differences request uh, visibility in the public domain and we see it in all parts of the world these political demands have been marginalized by the national state for a long while uh, here uh, also uh, groups joining the society through the waves of immigration give voice to such demands so national states encounter demands of diversity originating from inside and outside their borders. Uh, Turkish society is not exempt from it. Uh, the Kurdish issue we could not resolve since the first days of the Republic. Uh, demands by the Alawites, gender inequality we see in every part of the life and the uh, right requests of non-Muslims can be considered accordingly. Also, uh, population moves and around 5 million uh, refugee population uh, can be included within this framework. This framework can be uh, analyzed uh, through political, sociological, or economic uh, analysis uh, lenses. But here we are going to look at the arts and uh, culture. Uh, this topic uh, in this panel, we want to understand the different groups from cultural backdrops coexisting uh, despite their different perspectives. As political scientists, we may not pay much attention to the cultural space, but its contributions to coexistence has a vital importance. If you want to live uh, peacefully together, we should start by learning uh, the world of others and we cannot underestimate the importance of art here our studies uh, focus on uh, different ethnic groups including refugees or religious identities or others here Animo animosity results from not knowing and not understanding those different from us that's why the cultural space has this uniting quality and uh, actually it shows us and explains us the uh, dimensions, human dimensions of the cultural space. For the past five years, me and my colleague Rydal looked at the cultural space and its contributions to uh, coexistence in a peaceful way, uh, conducting research in uh, different EU countries uh, through different organizations. And we wanted to have projects with various organizations in Turkey looking at their practices. And here, through the cultural space, we wanted to no diversity and uh, look at uh, three organizations uh, collaborating with their uh, managers who contribute to these efforts i will shortly introduce them to you now and they will be telling about their experiences our first speaker will be Ömer Beraktaş Ömer uh, Beraktaş is the founder of Art Istanbul and he, he is he received media arts history uh, and he's a photographer and media artist from Syria. Uh, he came to Turkey in 2017 doing common uh, creatorship for many projects. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't have the opportunity to meet with Mr. Amer before our common project. 
But we, uh, we know about the activities of Artera Istanbul. I followed them very uh, closely. Also, I had the opportunity to speak with the ones who followed it. Since their establishment, they have been uh, contributing uh, with arts to this existence, uh, peaceful existence among <coughs> these diverse uh, components in Istanbul. We are very lucky as uh, what he will tell us will uh, make a, a huge importance. The second speaker uh, is the general coordinator of immigration and cultural studies Kemal uh, in Kayseri. Kemal Bunal Tarlan is a photographer, photography artist and also since 2011 he has been looking at Syrian refugees, uh, immigration theories and also social uh, coexistence and we had uh, the opportunity to work with Kırkaya Kültür and in Gaziantep with new uh, uh, Syrians, new refugees. Uh, we uh, looked at the ways of, of artistic and cultural activities that can contribute to uh, such uh, coexistence. So Kirkayak made those significant contributions and Kemal uh, Tarlan has important things to tell us. And our last speaker is Mahala Festival, arts director and the founder of the Dialect Association, Sabine uh, Capri Bush. She was, uh, she studied political uh, science uh, with a master's degree in 1992. And she uh, settled down in Turkey doing uh, television work. Together with her husband, Thomas, she started uh, shooting uh, documentaries. And in 2016, together with a group of Istanbulites, they started to, uh, uh, they established the Dialogue Association, which wanted to establish international arts organizations. And she attended different crisis regions. And in 2015, she started to work with immigrant artists in Istanbul, and then they started the International Mahala Fest Festival. The last Mahala Festival took place a few days ago in 2021. We, uh, during the pandemic times, they have been actually creating, curating a very impressive program. The fourth occasion of it, uh, actually, uh, 30 artists participated from four countries, and the exhibition had interactive performance interviews and other components, and it was attended by 1,500 uh, audience, and over 200,000 people accessed uh, it uh, through social media and online channels. Uh, we are very lucky, as I said today, because we have three invaluable speakers, as we'll be hosting and listening to them. Without further ado, I will give the floor to Amar Beraktar. The floor is yours. Uh, Mr. Fazin, hopefully we'll meet you, we'll have the chance yes. to meet you too in our yes. space. Hope so. So I will explain about our space, Art Here Istanbul, just briefly why it's founded and what we serve, what's our speciality and what makes us different or uh, specific in what we try to practice. We were founded in 2014. I, as a Syrian, came from Syria to Istanbul in 2012. We started some uh, kind of work to see. I was also active in the arts scene in Syria. And it was opportunity for us in Istanbul, in Turkey, to provide kind of art, uh, art space which originally founded to support Syrian artists to be included, or say, let's say the inclusion of Syrian artists in the Turkish art scene. So what we say, we say Art Here Istanbul is art residency, art community, and art center. The main aim is to create this support and network and the base location to support uh, art-related activity. We don't, uh, uh, we are not defined as a refugee or a Syrian artist center. 
we support all artists and that's our policy from the beginning. It's the idea that's to have international artists, artists from Turkey, artists from Syria, and we say all artists from conflict zone to work together without the start of knowing that they are working with the refugee artists. So the art is the base, we create projects, and that's how we support actually our community here in Turkey, the community who hosted the space, and also to support our artists to build bridges and create opportunity. We try to think of the commercial part that artists need uh, a way to survive. So always we support artists financially by not asking them uh, especially Syrian or from conflict zone. And we try to allocate funds specifically for them. At the same time, we have artists from Turkey. Also, in a lot of cases, we, we depend on fund to support their activities. And we have international artists, which user, usually they come and visit us with their own fund. Sometimes we support them also to, uh, to bring their own fund. So in a way, this kind of uh, support and environment where they all work, they do not focus or they do not even know that these artists are from Syria, from Iran, from Yemen, from Iraq, mm -hmm. all artists existed in uh, Turkey. But then when they started the, the international language, the art language will show that actually each country, each uh, area will bring its own, uh, let's say, specificity. Then we are all working on a project where they can all benefit from each other. We help in, the, in for example, in releasing one film in Turkey called uh, Omar and Biz, and by finding the main actor and by supporting and providing more uh, uh, good base of the background of what's really happening in Syria. Whenever you meet people here, they have the what the media provide them about what's happening in Syria, or, or, or they see more Syrians, they see now more Iranian, and then that's, if you do not really fight this uh, kind of uh, presumption or prejudice about these uh, people, then it's hard to make a cooperation. So the cooperation start then actually artists, artists from Turkey or international artists can really see how they can uh, communicate on so many levels. And at the same time, also we support some kind of activity with only Turkish artists. We supported uh, uh, artist uh, group every year, uh, uh, kind of school graduates, uh, students by having their annual uh, exhibition in our space for free every year. Of course, we closed one and a half year for pandemic, but now we we are back. Since June, we are back with our activity, and uh, we presuming the, the activity. At the same time, we are trying to create a, a, a base where they can we can get funds to be located to the artists on the on the way they need it usually any residency or support for artists they have kind of a standard so they pay for rent they pay for production they pay we found kind of a residency where specific for the artists who are already for example example living in istanbul for example you don't need to uh, host the artist in a specific residence you're already living here so you can only support him by financially, by paying his rent so he can focus on his art. Same for Turkish artists, same for the international artists. As I say, it's a different case. I will take you a little to our website to see some kind of maybe to see what is uh, art here. How it's look like it's in Yildermeni, where lots of now starting to be 
uh, a very specific place for graffiti, for art scene. There's a lot of studio and that's what attracted us uh, originally in this location. Then I would say, as we say, we hear, we explain that it's actually is a hub, is a network where we supply support for the artists. And at the same time, all NGO, all university, or people who want to work with the issue of refugee, the inclusion, the integration, they are able to contact us and they are able to see what we think about, uh, about the topic, how you can support artists without uh, doing it as a support for refugee or in a kind of uh, type of charity uh, uh, frame. I will give just, I will uh, uh, move to some of the, our events. Today we have a, a short film by a Syrian uh, director. We had jam session last week with, with the Iranian international and Turkish artists, where we act, they're actually working more and more on the, on the work between uh, Sufi, Turkish, uh, and a musical instrument from Turkey with some kind of uh, techno uh, manipulation by uh, a British artist who is actually uh, present in art here. Bine V. Sergi is how we supported our group of young people here in Istanbul. This is maybe the third time we hosting the exhibition. We have an exhibition of artists profiling, which is a link between Germany and Turkey and artists in Turkey. And also uh, it's included artists from uh, Iran, from Lebanon. Then we supported, I would say, I will move to speak about also collaboration with IKCV. We had a program which was called uh, Be Mobile Create Together, which is also a program with uh, for residency for artists, and uh, this ho we hosted three artists, while uh, Europe hosted also twelve artists, IKCV hosted nine artists, we hosted three, and in Europe they hosted equal artists. We have, in a way, uh, a lot of activity related to research, uh, film screening. We participated with the French Institute, with La Nuit, de, Le, La Nuit des Idées, where we presented all the type of music. And uh, we did an exhibition, film screening, in the center of the French Institute in Ankara participated in contemporary Istanbul. We did some uh, workshop for to support artists how to understand in a way the art scene here in Turkey. Of course, we have a, a big list, just I'm naming some. The other important thing we do is like uh, what we have uh, of our residencies, which is like the, the international residency. And we have, for example, what we call it Anahuna Solidarity. Anahuna meaning I am here, and it's created specifically for all the artists from conflict zone with the support of uh, FANAC Fund, which is NGO located in Paris. I was one of the founders and we, call, uh, we uh, get funds speci uh, specifically to support our artists. So basically, this is part of what we do. We do uh, virtual residency. We do uh, also by inviting. So that's why we had kind of our open calls, which is really where have, uh, was recently launched that we have enough funds to make uh, continuous activity, which can involve artists from Turkey, 
working with the with the artists from other places so i hope i summarized what will maybe one last thing uh, we were supposed to be part of the istanbul biennial this year Unfortunately, you know, because of the COVID, it was postponed to next year, but we already started the work with the team of IKCV and the team of the Menial, and we will have also art here as a permanent space for talk and reading and uh, discussions, which also bringing more people, more people from Turkey to come and meet with the, our community of artists. And we hope to get work hard to get more funds the more fund we get, the more we supply directly to the artists, which is really uh, very important for them. We also su supply them with the place, with the tools, and with the connections, which are really in uh, bad need for it. Thank you very much, Omar Bey, for this very comprehensive presentation and for uh, completing your presentation right on time. Even in this short time, you, even your short presentation showed us that your institution is a very important on different dimensions. Now I would like to turn to our second uh, uh, speaker, Kırkayak uh, Culture Director, Mr. Kemal Buran Tarla. The floor is yours. Hello. I am from Gaziantep. I would like to talk about the foundation story of Kırkayak. And then I would like to explain the um, process which was started by the uh, civil war in Syria and our new arriving neighbors, uh, how it affected our activities. Kırkaya Culture is a group of artists, academicians, people from different occupations, but who are interested in culture and art. And it was founded by that by this group of people. We first initiated our studies, film screenings in Gaza and in 2008, but all the way until 2010, we were like taking initiatives, we acted like an initiative. But in 2011, we have established Kırkaya Culture, Art and Nature Association, and this was the official establishment. This year, 2010, is the big was the beginning year of the um, civil uprisings in Middle East. We are in Gaziantep, a border city, and we have turned our face to the Middle East, to, to the uprisings in the um, Middle East. And towards the end of the year 2011, we have had new, we, we had noticed that there are newcomers to our city where we live. In, until then, we were carrying out culture and art activities in a historical stone house. In that year, there was no film festival in the city. We started to organize International Zegma Film Festival. And for young artists in the city, we had the goal of creating an open space for young artists. So it was rather for a space gathering together the artists in the city. Along with that, with the festival, we had an effort to bring the international independent films to the city. But at the end of 2011, our new neighbors, we noticed that we had new neighbors in our streets and in our neighborhoods. And those people who came recently had demands about culture and arts, we have come to notice, because the new people wanted to participate in our activities. Sometimes they joined, but there were language barriers. We, seen, we have seen that there were artists among them, and it was challenging in the beginning. We thought what we could do, because 
You all know that we are a community who doesn't know living together in uh, with differences. It's not only for refugees. There are problems on this land in coming together of the of people of different different ethnicities, ethnic origins. So we started to discuss what we could do with the artists from among the rep, uh, newcomers. And our one of our first contacts was was a Syrian artist who visited our activities, opened, uh, told us that there was an exhibition of pictures, an art exhibition in the city, Gaziantep city. <laughs> we have visited the exhibition. Three young people were opening an exhibition uh, which was called Waiting. It was very interesting because for the migrants, they, that was me waiting in the city, and that was the story of this waiting. And we wanted to organize this exhibition in Kirkaya culture. And they were very surprised that an institution from Turkey is coming and offering to open an exhibition. So we carried that exhibition to Kirkaya culture, and it was very positive, for both from Turkey side and Syrian side. Newcomers were together, many visitors. There were 100, around 100 people in the opening ceremony and we have noticed at the time that really differences there are contact points for the differences and one of the most effective areas of contact is the culture and art activities and as Kirkaya culture we said that from now on we're newcomers we, we are going to offer an open space for newcomers, for our new neighbors, new co-citizens. And after that time, for both for the newcomers and for the people who come to Gaziantep from different areas, different cities, we describe our venues as open space. In, at the moment in Gaziantep, we, ha we are carrying out work in two centers. We have Kirkayak Art and Culture Center. is a place where we carry out culture and art activities until before the pandemic. Every Wednesday, we, were, we used to do film screenings every Wednesday for 10 years. And these movies were Arabic, were with Turkish and English subtitles. And we, other than that, we opened exhibitions of Syrian artists and we have made a theater. There were some theater groups of, created by refugees in the city and we acted in order to show those uh, theater plays. And we have seen that newcomers are really adding an energy to the city. It became very, very visible in Gaziantep because newcoming young people, in particular those who are interested in art, were reflecting their culture in their city, in their cities of destination, in their destinations. They wanted to be heard. They wanted to be noticed. And for this reason, it has been more than 10 years we have been keeping these open spaces and we are carrying out activities. Because of the pandemic, there was a short interval, but we continue. And Kirkaya culture, since then, since 2012, in our minds, we always had one idea. Together with newcomers, we have noticed that as the olds, we do not have the culture of living together. Kurds, Alevites, people of different ethnic or religious origins cannot live together. And they do not come together. They do not meet very often. And we initiated our programs on the axis of living together. At the moment, we are carrying out program-based activities. And all of, the, all of those programs are based on the experiences of living together. Our culture and art program is 
using culture and art as a tool and we are trying to live together and we are working in this area. Apart from that, we have a kitchen program. In this kitchen program, on the axis of gender equality, we are living together, but there we can also do culture and art activities. The food, we have noticed that food and kitchen culture is one of the get, um, combination, uh, gathering together points where different sects of the society come together. And Antep is a city with a very strong gastronomy and food culture. And this time, together with the Syrians, Middle Eastern cuisine has also been integrated. And we have noticed that it, has, it is a huge richness. The newcomers, <laughs> cultural accumulation, historical accumulation. They are coming together with their cultures and histories. And we are working in order to demonstrate those, uh, those accumulations. There is another thing that we have uh, noticed. For newcomers to use their language to perform activities in their own language is a need for them. And since 2012, we are using Arabic in all our materials and activities as a second language. In our designs, for example, we have redesigned our uh, activities. For example, when we print a brochure, after it, after it was printed in 2013, we noticed that an Arabic brochure was printed from left to right. Since then, we have a Syrian designer artist who, who is doing the designs of the Kirkaya culture materials. We started to, to produce multi-language materials as Kirkaya culture. These multi-language materials are in particular for children and young people so that they will experience living together. And International Zegma Film Festival is being organized by us in Gaziantep. And since 2014, <coughs> the festival is showing Middle Eastern films with Turkish subtitles. And the Turkey films are shown in with Arabic subtitles. It's a multi-language fest festival, and the festival viewers, audience, almost 30 or 40 percent of the uh, audience of the festival are newcomers, refugees. This is very happy for the city because the 20 or 25 percent of the city population are the refugees. And this is showing that the newcomers are very much interested in the culture and art compared to the old ones. Apart from that, together with the pandemic, we have shifted our activities to the digital area. Actually, pandemic has strengthened our digital experiences. Last year, IKSL had Istanbul Design uh, Biennale, and we have prepared one part of that with a video. And that video is actually about the olive culture on the borders of Turkey and Syria. And that culture is something that unites us historically. So that was about the olive that it represents, that ancient tree that represents the um, a piece and our kitchen workshop uh, our kitchen workshop may prepare this uh, uh, activity about olive we are doing a, we are a right based organization we are on the ex working on the access of human rights in that sense in particular about the labor of the migrant women and about the education of the children we have been working right-based activities for the access of newcomers to the services. Our, with the increase of the vaccination, 
we continue our French movie days. We have a terrace and we are screening movies every week with the support of French Culture Institute. And after the pandemic, I guess our culture and art activities will continue after the pandemic. I hope I didn't uh, pass my time. No, about timing, you are very good. We are all well, doing very well. We have no problem about that. Thank you very much, Kemal. I would like to thank you. And as uh, Kemal explained, Gaziantep has changed a lot in the last seven, eight years. And there are there's a high number of migrants, but the newcomers and people who were already living in the city there are not so many contact points between them and in that sense the activities of kirkayak are are playing a very important role for increasing these contacts and in, uh, overcoming the prejudices for the last five six years i have been following their activities very closely and i am very happy to work with them right in the place in, in Gaziantep, these works are actually very effective. And I had the chance to observe this impact, but that's why uh, for that reason, we are very thankful to Kemal for sharing these experiences. Now, Sabine will be talking. The floor is yours. Thank you very much. As the previous speaker said, our festival, the Mahana Festival has just ended and one of the exhibitions by the way is still going on. Mahana Festival started in 2017, but it started with the foundation of the Dialogue Foundation, and it was a global solidarity network. Our aim was that, and before, of course, our aim was to create a tie between Turkey, Austria, and we worked on political issues within these countries. For example, we had some exhibitions uh, of the caricatures uh, for human purposes. And we had some publications with many uh, details in it. And when we started, in many countries like Syria, Iraq, there has been a crisis, and Turkey received lots of refugee influx. And now, we back then were uh, working on documentaries on neighbor countries of Turkey, and then we worked again with the artists in Turkey. And then we started to conduct exhibitions as well as projects. And instead of telling about these projects in detail, maybe I can talk about the recent projects of ours and I can talk about how we implemented it. I have a short presentation. So 30 artists joined in these projects from Netherlands, Africa, Syria, Turkey, from different, different parts of the world. It was both face-to-face -face and online project. Sure. We have also the artist residence going on. And I also do not like the word refugee artists is an artist all the time and for both artists domestically uh, the artists abroad need to work together that's why we tried to implement these projects and to f figure out new solutions with new new ideas so, so let me share my presentation so the topic was the memoration for the exhibition. And there is no equivalence of the word memoration in Turkish. Memoration is the formations of the flocks on the Eya as they migrate from one point to another. 
But the main reason of this is because they, the flocks are trying to protect themselves from uh, cold or enemies. So, we called all the artists and we want them to move with the idea of memoration and that we want them to work as an individual and also as a collective group. And we chose the district of Yaldermini, located in Kadıköy, district of Istanbul. And this is actually the world residence is used to be a Fran French monastery. On the right side, you can see the Anatolic Anatolia High School. On this left, you see the settlement of the church. We don't see the screen, do you? Maybe you didn't do the screen sharing, did you? We don't see it right now. Okay. The complex, yeah, here, as you can see on the right side, all of them are actually a French, old French monastery. On the right side, you see the Anatolian High School, and left is the settlement of the church. And then we used the warehouses of the church, sided with the church, and the artists with different methods interactively work together and artists use different methods trying to work on memoration for example this is a Chanakale centered group you see a world map actually this is upside down Here you see the water areas. Of course, you can predict the country, but actually the water areas need to be uh, addressed. Here you see a collective of uh, eight artists, and they try to indicate their roots, immigration roots, in an interactive way. So this actually creates a conversation space. So everybody tells about where they hail from, with their grandfathers, grandmothers, what languages they spoke, what dishes they made. So it is a good conversation space. Another project involved a musician colleague guitar which you saw Lucien Plesner who plays the classic guitar but also he is a music scientist from a family in Germany and he started this music journey and uh, delivered a presentation before the concert and he uh, depicted examples of uh, songs from the Middle East like the hummingbird which can be seen in the Islam and in other uh, music types like uh, actually uh, Nightingale giving uh, voice to certain complaints or uh, troubles there was this concert Barbara Einshorn, who was the Austrian artist I referred to earlier, uh, had this implementation of my hand, your hand. She was seated before a cafe, uh, and as people sat side by side, they started drawing, and they held each other's hand while observing their environment. They started uh, drawing and they actually uh, tried to draw something for five days and they came to realize that although they were reserved at the beginning, 
they had a great memoration together with each other and that was the main theme of our exhibition and this is an American artist Nora Byrne uh, she lives in Yeldeymen in Istanbul she completed her education in Sabancı University uh, a student of Marat German and she started with a portrait with a drawing and then she had this chain of introductions between people in Yerdeirmeni, her district, and here artists joined and other districts were also added. She had portraits of these people, introducing them to uh, each other, uh, introducing them to their friends, and there was this influx of visitors and she drew 70 portraits at the end. And she's going to continue that activity. And Thai Body is a video installation by Rafael Vela, who is important for our festival. festival. Actually, I do not accept a term called uh, asylum. A festival but we talk about immigrant festivals immigrant festivals and this is an animation movie involving 100 drawings and in a, an island like Malta uh, this virus starts killing people who start to uh, produce irrational ideas like uh, where this virus came uh, about where this virus came from they first blame the cats uh, and uh, the person recommends shooting the cats the virus crisis we go through uh, is actually associated with the xenophobia issue we experience, experience globally on the left hand side you see a huge material hunk and African asyl asylum uh, seekers are common in Malta uh, refugees so they started to make these uh, actually cloth uh, printing and they started telling about their uh, countries uh, the animals they like the dishes they like uh, on this textile printing but actually they associated all those things with a political message because what we see in Germany applies to in applies to Malta as well they have an exam for becoming an appropriate citizen every refugee has to take that exam so through their artistic activities uh, they had this humorous approach under uh, by creating a title of becoming an appropriate citizens for this atelier or exhibition work as for the searching traces i mean to fast in my presentation so that I don't run out of my time it's one of the activities we undertake it has been 10 years since we started but for the past one year we include certain countries in uh, zoom actually one of them is from Canada and we uh, meet every Sunday uh, and we started to produce uh, films we went to Malta in June and together with the African uh, refugees we had the uh, taxi Malta movie by Major Sium and we shoved it in Yerdeymeni at a cafe we also shoved other movies another Syrian colleague also joined it uh, through Zoom so people who cannot travel are able to at least 
uh, have their travels like in an online channel in an online pl platform we also try to include the spaces where we are present and Tuba Kucha Koya, a young curator worked with us as we organized our festival and Tuba uh, wandered around different spaces and art exhibition areas doing such a curation. The last one took place uh, last week in Besiktas uh, Pier Kadikoy, the founders. Uh, it's like the Mobilistan, the first mobile state. The founders here traveled from different countries. One of them is uh, traveling to Berlin and they cannot go back to Syria and now Christian Mans declared the first mobile state so here it represents an absurd state where there is this just car but there is an official document called Mobilistan and Manav becomes a president and Christian becomes a prime minister as they conducted the performance they uh, chanted an anthem Mobilistan uh, for Mobilistan state people were able to apply for pizza so they tried to create a mobility here so when you give a, a visa that's a 10 minute visa and everyone asks about what state is will we they ask whether they will be able to go to europe through mobilistan so that is the kind of conversation we saw there so we have a very crowded program but that will be all for now thank you very much was it over sabina have I interrupted? No, no, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, thank you very much, Sabine, for this Mahala uh, festival, because the last four Mahala festivals took place within the framework we discussed today, making in important contributions to themes. Uh, everyone was disciplined in terms of the time so we have still five more minutes and i have a question from our audience i would like to ask you this question and uh, the person wishing to address the question can take it one of our uh, participants referred to the pandemic and said that it actually created a huge setback through interactions and cultural works so digital works of art or digitalization uh, do they support this interaction adequately uh, in terms of new opportunities as we lost spaces or communication means so how much does digital art can compensate for it that's the question whoever would like to address can take the floor i can start with omar go to ural and sabine following the same order if you want to add anything <coughs> Can I start, of course? Actually, I stated earlier that we had our activities in open spaces at our uh, center before the pandemic, but we 
had to move to digital as platforms together with the pandemic. But I observed that for the past two weeks, uh, we see intense interest, keen interest in movie demonstrations. So on one side, people do not just want to be uh, seated before a digital screen and visit digital exhibitions. So uh, introducing uh, actually local to uh, the universal or national to universal is an opportunity in digital, but we uh, it also decreased the possibility of people coming together and contacting <laughs> each other. That's why in the post pandemic, that's why people are, many people are looking forward to the post pandemic period. Probably in Sabine Sisters Festival, uh, they observed that people were very keen to come together. Yes, Sabine, you organized the Mala Festival both online and uh, physically. So, can you make a compare? You had the opportunity comparison. I agree with. Kemal, of course, there were people who were able to attend, and we have been able to see just the front side of the building, but there was this huge uh, backyard, and people were able to hang around comfortably, and uh, many people liked it because something was very pleasing for me. You come to the exhibition space and see a huge crowd, uh, but people actually uh, moved around the space for a few hours, had conversations, and that was a great experience for me. And <coughs> by drawing on the last year's experience, we benefited from Zoom and had live broadcast as we got used to Zoom. Now, uh, we uh, actually recorded Mobilistan as well as broadcasting it, uh, and people are still viewing it online. If I'm to give a number, we talk about 100, uh, 1,500 people uh, joining or participating in it physically, but 200,000 people viewed it uh, digitally. Of course, there is a doubt. There is doubt about how much we can trust these figures, but still, they view it from different countries. Majority of them, uh, of course, came from Turkey, but we see people from Malta, Canada, and Germany viewing this event, which is a good thing. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sabine. The last 38 seconds. So we completed your presentations as well as taking a question within one hour's time. So everything went just as we planned. I'd like to thank you very much, all of you. Also, I'd like to thank the Marov organization for bringing us together for this uh, effect in this effective panel. Thank you to all of you, and I look forward to seeing you later.